say the word of god, word of god. I, see I see myself in i will have i will, have I will become that's hope The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstra. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Now, before we get started here in this message tonight this is the question is there power in the word of god yes the word of god what power his power creative power but power of the thing said mm -hmm. say power, power. Of, the thing of the thing said, said that's the power that's in the word of god is the thing he said yes. isaiah 55 verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth what does that mean goes forth out of his mouth the spoken word of god mm -hmm. so shall the spoken word of god be it it what it the spoken word of god it shall not return unto him void but it the spoken word of god shall accomplish that which i please and it the spoken word of God shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. What's it going to prosper in? The thing that He said. Say the spoken word of God, word of God will, prosper will prosper in the thing, in the thing said. said. There's power in the word of God, it's in the thing said. That, my friend, is a fundamental belief. Now, I would like to address one of the weakest statements people make and one of the strongest statements and it happens to be the same statement it goes something like this there's always hope there's always hope now it depends on what that's based on as to whether it's the weakest thing you've ever heard or the strongest thing that there is the weakest is said when someone is about to give up and it's simply a desperate Hail Mary hoping something will happen it's based on nothing say it's based on nothing, based based on nothing. nothing. therefore if it's based on nothing if it has a foundation of nothing what hope is there there's none it's 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 super weak it it shouldn't even be said it's one of those times where people go there's always hope when they had nothing else to say mm -hmm. the strongest is when you are saying what God said real hope is based on God's spoken word in predominantly God's spoken word out your mouth there's always hope Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1 now faith is the substance of things hoped for it's the substance of things hoped for actual things mm -hmm. it's the substance of actual things are you hoping for an imaginary thing no. Romans chapter 15 and verse 13 now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing the God of all hope is he the God of imaginary things yeah. he's, he's the God of something he says he's the God of hope we've already established it's an actual thing hope is the God of imaginary things is that what you're telling me a lot of non-believers would say that it's just an imaginary thing he's not the God of the imaginary no these things 
are real things these are the real things that he's the God of mm -hmm. are you here this is this is getting good Romans chapter 4 verse 17 as it is written I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed even God who quickens the dead and calls those things which be not as though they were verse 18 who against hope believed in hope what did Abraham believe in hope he believed in hope was hope an imaginary thing no hope was a real thing say it hope, hope. was a real thing he believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations that he might become the thing said he had to believe in the hope that he might become the thing the thing said had to be hope yeah. a real thing he's the God of real things do you understand this mm -hmm. I have made thee was the word of god past tense mm -hmm. did it look like that at the present time when god said it to abraham no but he believed in the things said here the bible is ca called it hope i have made thee god's word is more sure than the thing you can touch or feel in the natural world that's hope you can already see how hope is very is a very powerful concrete and real thing as opposed to the sad lame and weak hope that people say when they say oh, there's always hope mm -hmm. Abraham believed in hope that he might become yeah. that so you believe in things that aren't real you believe in things that are imaginary see that's the problem people think that's what you're believing in you're not you're believing in a thing that's more real than the thing that can be seen yeah. in the natural you're healing listen your healing and youth renewal is more real than the thing you're looking at in your physical body yeah. it comes from the Word of God and it's a thing called hope that's an actual thing say it's an actual thing, an actual thing. he's the God of that if you think it's just imaginary what are you gonna receive an imaginary healing you're gonna receive an imaginary blessing in your bank account yeah. it's imaginary then you serve an imaginary God mm. that's what most people would think are you here yeah. okay second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18 we look not at the things which are seen but at the things say things the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporary but the things which are not seen are eternal hope spoken hope spoken what if I say hope spoken what am I saying speaking the word when you're speaking the word you're speaking the thing the hope hope spoken supernaturally replaces the thing that's presently seen you're taking the thing you hope for and it replaces the thing that you presently see is this making sense let's read it again while we look it says we're looking at something not at the things which are seen in the natural but at the things which are seen not seen in the natural for the things which are seen in the natural are temporary say they're temporary, temporary. if you've got a situation in the natural that doesn't look like it's lining up with God's hope God's Word tell it that it's temporary it's not eternal for the things which are seen are temporary but the things which are not seen are eternal hope spoken supernaturally replaces the thing that is seen in the natural you know this is how it works right mm -hmm. second corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless 
house when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away what is a veil if, you, if it's over your eyes it keeps you from seeing something taking away a veil would cause you to be able to see something you couldn't see before predominantly here verse 17 now that you can see it now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is or where the spirit is Lord there is liberty or freedom liberty and freedom that you could not see until the veil was taken away and the spirit is Lord mm -hmm. verse 18 but we all who's the we all that he's talking about the people that have had the veil taken away and the spirit to them is Lord and they're starting to see a liberty that they couldn't see before right we all with open face beholding as in a mirror say as in a mirror, in a mirror. the glory of the Lord are changed so you've had the veil taken away the Spirit is Lord mm -hmm. you're seeing a liberty you've never seen before and you're looking in a mirror that shines back at you and you see something you've never seen before is this too difficult with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image that you see where the Spirit is Lord there is a liberty a liberty to see in the mirror who are you seeing in the mirror you're seeing his glory but you're seeing yourself when you look in a mirror who are you seeing yourself. you see yourself in the mirror you see yourself in the mirror in a way that you've never seen yourself before and then you are changed into the same image James chapter 1 verse 25 but whoso looketh say whoso looketh whoso looketh, whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty now remember when the veil's taken away the spirit is Lord and a liberty is open to you and then you look into the mirror right whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty what do you suppose you're looking into when you're looking in that mirror the perfect law of liberty say I am looking, I am looking into, into the perfect, the perfect law, of liberty. law of liberty whoso looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues therein continues what continues looking continues beholding remember as we're doing that we're being changed into that image into that perfect law of liberty it goes on to say this man shall be blessed in his deed the man that you saw in the mirror that is a blessed man say the man, the man. I, see I see in the mirror, the mirror. It's, a man. it's a blessed man it's a perfect law God's word spoken and seen it's the law it's a new administration of the Spirit to you you who worship the Holy Ghost as God and walk with him in the earth by saying words you say those words you see those words it's a perfect law what you see yourself in you can have and become it's a perfect law it's a perfect law that works every time if you do it this man shall be blessed who continues looking therein Genesis chapter 11 let's read down to verse 5 and the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded verse 6 and the Lord said behold the people is one they have one language all one language language and this they begin to do now nothing nothing will be restrained from them which they have 
imagined to do meaning whatever they were imagining they would be able to do they could do whatever they imagined they could do yeah. my point there was that whatever you see yourself doing you can do whatever you see yourself having you can have it's built into mankind it's a law do you suppose that changed when we got over into the New Testament now that doesn't work anymore no it works better now mm -hmm. because now we have the things we can say we can speak one with God's Word and accomplish anything that those words say the Word of God you see yourself in like a mirror you can have and you will become say the Word of God, Word of God. I, see I see myself in I will have I will, have. I will, become. I will become that's hope that is hope and it's a law now the kingdom of God has unlimited healing and health is this true yes or is he running out the kingdom of God has unlimited wealth and provision He's not running out the kingdom of God has unlimited resources so we're talking about saying God's Word mm -hmm. and it is based on hope hope being a real thing Abraham believed in hope remember remember all these things I preached on already mm -hmm. now we're up to this Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blood is this a scripture it is. is this a promise of God yes. mm -hmm. did God say it yes. yeah the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it is it imaginary no. is it a made-up thing no this is literally a real thing he's the God of this so when we walk with him in it what are we walking with him in this mm -hmm. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it when I say this concerning myself what happens I see it mm -hmm. concerning myself say the blessing, the blessing of, the Lord of the Lord makes me rich, makes me rich. adds no sorrow, with it. Adds no sorrow with it what happens when you say that you have a momentary glimpse of an image of you being made rich no sorrow added mm -hmm. now hope could be likened to a hologram do you know what a hologram is mm -hmm. you ever seen Star Wars remember Princess Leia R2D2 right he's push, puts up a little screen of Princess Leia and she's like Obi-Wan you're our only hope and you see the image of her right mm -hmm. it was a projection of her that's a hologram that's what I'm talking about and for some reason it's always glitchy you ever see it always glitches in and out oh Obi-Wan up oh, uh. Well, God's word isn't glitchy. Say it. God's word, God's word isn't, isn't glitchy. glitchy. It says the same thing every time as the hologram. Obi Wan, mm -hmm. you're our only hope. When I say the blessing of the Lord is on me, I like to say it this way the blessing of the Lord is on me. I am made rich, no sorrow added. Say the blessing, the blessing of, the of the Lord is on me. Is on me. I, am I am made rich, no sorrow added. No sorrow added. That's the mirror you're looking into. You're seeing yourself what God said. That's the hope. Are you here? Yeah. That's the reality of you. That's who you are. When I say this, I see this. Say, when I say it, when I, say it. I see it. I see it and it changes the image of you and then you're changed into that image from one glory to another glory mm -hmm. it's you looking into the perfect law of liberty it's a law works every time 
second peter chapter 1 verse 19 we have also a more sure word say a more sure word a more sure word, a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do worse if you take heed no. what oh wait you do well if you take heed have you ever heard of someone doing worse their physical condition took a turn for the worse <laughs> their financial condition took a turn for the worse mm -hmm. are you here yeah we have a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do well not worse you do better say I do better, I do better. <laughs> you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shines what does light do you have to perceive light with your eyes so you have to hear it mm -hmm. and then you have to see it when you say it you hear it when you say it and hear it you see it mm -hmm. and you'll do well if you take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts he goes on to say knowing this first the prophecy of the scriptures no private interpretation mm -hmm. that means it works for everybody who will do it who will look into this perfect law of liberty what is this word more sure than the prosperity scriptures listen the prosperity scriptures are more sure than your not doing well financially are you here yeah. the healing verses of scripture and the youth renewing verses of scripture are more sure based on something more sure which we've already established is the hope that God has mm -hmm. it's more sure than your physical situation say the healing verse, healing verse. Of, scripture of scripture is more sure, is more sure than, my than my physical condition and when you look into it and you see yourself in there it will replace your physical condition with this more sure word mm -hmm. again this hope is more sure it's more solid it's eternal mm -hmm. I hope you can see that this hope is a law and it's more sure we see what we speak and if we're speaking the Word of God mm -hmm. we see ourselves in the word spoken say I see myself, I see myself. In, the word spoken. in the word spoken and that creates a picture and an image of you and we believe what we see that's what Abraham did Abraham believed in hope that he might become the thing he had to see himself there and believe it mm -hmm. and then he became it real hope is based on God's spoken word in predominantly God's spoken word out your mouth it's one of the most powerful things on earth it is a law it's the law there's always hope not based on God's word that statement is defeatist at best but to say there's always hope when it's based on God's spoken word out your mouth it's your new found law to live by thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people showing them that this law works for them and it works for them over and over in every area of life and you are greatly pleased when they put your words in their mouth that they may know you and walk with you as God in the earth today we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name Amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship God. you
you are God in the earth today I walk with you in this hope that's more real than anything I see I have abundance and no lack the blessing of the Lord has made me rich adding no sorrow with it in Jesus name Amen. Right hand. Holy Ghost, your God.